Hi, this is Mark Mikolaj from Building Aspirations, and at Building Aspirations, we help you build the life and the business that you aspire to. And we provide seminars and workshops and trainings, and there's a common question that we get again and again and again from small business leaders, from owners of small businesses, but oftentimes, most often, from entrepreneurs. How do I do everything? How do I find the time to do everything? Because you know what? You get to be the CEO, you get to be the CFO, you get to be the vice president of marketing, you get to be the graphic artist, you get to be the accountant, you get to be the janitor, you get to do everything. And oh, yeah, that's right. You're a dad and a mom and all these other things as well. How do you find the time to do it all? Well, we're going to provide you five tips right here, right now, that we hope will help you not be overwhelmed with the fact that there are numerous demands and you're being pulled in all these different directions. Yes, there's only 24 hours in a day, and yes, you are not Wonder Woman or Superman. You can't do everything. Five tips to help you be less stressed and more productive in your business. Tip number one, don't be perfect. Let go of perfection. So many of you out there are so emotionally invested in your businesses, and that's great. I don't want you to be whimsical about your business. I want you to be serious about it. But being serious and being professional and being respectful to your clients and, and your market is a lot different than being perfect. Because, they're, because procrastination and perfection are just, oh, they're so close to each other. And so often, I hear people say, oh, we're not ready yet, we're not ready. This actually happened in a workshop just, gosh, a couple weeks ago. I said, well, what are you doing for your marketing right now? Oh, well, the business isn't open yet. The business is going to be open in six months. So you're not marketing right now? Oh, no, we'll, we'll start marketing as soon as we're open. No, because what's going to happen is you're going to open, and now, you know what, you're paying mortgage, you're paying the rent on your shop, and nobody knows about your shop because you haven't been doing the marketing. So you need to start doing the marketing six months beforehand. Oh, but not everything is ready. Yeah. But that's the whole idea of accepting the fact that you're not perfect. Yeah, your marketing isn't going to be perfect, but you need to get it going. And you know what? You're not going to be the perfect manager and you're going to make mistakes. And the way you price stuff is going to be wrong. And the way you market stuff is going to be wrong. Now, I don't want it to be egregiously wrong, and I'm not telling you to make mistakes, but I'm giving you permission to make mistakes. Don't be perfect in your business. Tip number two, being busy is not being productive. You need to be productive in your business. You could check off stuff on your to-do list all day. But unless you are doing high value things that are actually going to result in revenue or business growth, you're just being busy. I want you to be productive. So every time you are doing something in your business, think through, is this productive? How does this help my business? Think through that. Don't be busy. Be productive. And the way you can do this and the way you can focus in on this is to tap into tip number three. Focus on the highest value clients and customers first. If you've ever heard the whole idea of the 80-20 rule, this is it right here. 80-20. You will get 80% of your revenue from 20% of your customers. There are, you're going to get repeat customers, you're going to have people who love you, you're going to get fans, and those are the people who deserve your most attention. Now, I'm not saying ignore the other people, that is not what I'm saying. What I am saying is if you have limited time in the day, and you need to call somebody back first, or you need to deal with some problem first, you probably call the most important client first. You call the most important customer first. You deal with the highest value problems first. Not the loudest customer, 
because there may be a customer who is challenging that provides very little benefit for your company and you know what you may even fire them and that's difficult for a lot of small businesses to grasp but the most important clients need to be dealt with first tip number four plan you need to have a plan I say all the time your marketing should not be whimsical so many times clients they print out flyers they do Google AdSense they do all these different things and I say like okay what did you want to have happen uh, well I'm just marketing yeah I know you're marketing but what did you want to have happen from the marketing did you want people to call you do you want people to buy do you want people to come to the store that's a plan you need to have a plan and you need to plan for everything in your business now the plan is going to change and you need to adjust it of course but you know what you don't go on vacation just whimsically you don't just show up at the airport you have a plan I am going to Hawaii for vacation I'm going for two weeks and we're going to stay at this hotel you plan it and you know all the time this again and again and again I find clients that they don't do this and that analogy of the vacation is very accurate they will plan their vacation a year in advance but then I say well okay what's your marketing strategy uh, right you're going on vacation for two weeks and you will be working in your business for 2,000 plus hours a year and you spend more time planning your vacation than planning your business that's the wrong strategy you need to plan your business tip number four and that leads to tip number five grow I want you to grow your business and all of the top four lead into five and one of the things that are included with growth is help you may bring on employees you may bring on staff you may outsource to companies like building aspirations you may see the value of email marketing but you might not want to do it so you grow your email marketing power by bringing us on to do it for you or you hire people that's how you alleviate the stress and that's how you create more time in your business so let's review the five tips that we provided you number one don't be perfect let go of perfection in your business number two realize that being busy is not being productive focus on things that are productive for the success of your business number three focus on your most important clients your most important market first number four plan you need to have a plan those who fail to plan plan to fail you need to have a plan in your business and number five grow eventually you're gonna have so much success that you need to get a, gonna need to bring on outside help resources staff whatever that looks like so five tips to help you grow your business and not be overwhelmed with the fact that it's just you and you have to do everything we hope you enjoyed these tips and if you did we would love for you to subscribe to the building aspirations channel on YouTube just click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the YouTube channel and if you're not following us and if you're not getting the building aspirations e-newsletter we would love for you to subscribe there as well connect with us on email and you can do that by clicking on the subscription link in the box just below this video this is Mark Michelot from Building Aspirations thanks for listening